I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before, which is a monologue in English. こんにちは。イングリッシュドクターの西澤ロイです。このサブチャンネルはね、2014年にスタートしたんですが、東京の江東区にあるコミュニティラジオ局、レインボータウン FM で西澤ロイの頑張らない英語という冠コーナーをね、10年ちょっとやってきまして、そのバックナンバーをアップしていきました。実は今月でそれがね、最終回。つまり、卒業ということになりました。ですので今回は最終回の特別企画として、ゲストさんを呼ぶのではなくて、英語でね、一人語りをしながら、10年間を振り返ってみたいと思います。You know, I have been doing this program for more than 10 years. 10 and a half years. And I have to tell you that this is the last episode, the final episode of this show. And it's been a wonderful 10 years. I'm very grateful to the listeners and all the guests who came on my show and the producer and all the staff members. I think I have done a lot of things. I have tried a lot of things on this show and I think I want to talk about them today. So, why did I start this program, Gambarana Ego, Stress Free English Learning, in the first place? It was 11 years ago when I met a radio personality, Junjun, at a meetup called Sento Koryukai. Sento here doesn't mean combat, it means public bath. I met Junjun, and at that time, he was really interested in learning English. So he invited me to appear on his show, and I participated for like 15 minutes. Right after the broadcast, As we were having a chat, the producer, Mr. Hamada, asked me this question Do you have any interest in having your own show? And I said, Yes, I'd be more than glad to, because there seemed to be no reason to turn it down. I never dreamed of it, and this was the first time I thought of this idea hosting my own show on the radio. But it was like, Wow! It was an exciting idea. I didn't know what to do though. And in January 2014, I began this program with Junjun and also started uploading episode archives on YouTube. At first, I tried giving lectures on the show. However, after several attempts, I found myself running out of topics. So I decided to try inviting a guest. My first guest was Maiko Horisawa, a great singer and a close friend of mine. I wasn't sure if the show with Maiko went well, but I realized that inviting guests was not a bad idea. So I entered the second phase of the program. I began interviewing various people who teach or use English, like teachers, authors, and business professionals. And thanks to the many guests, including several famous figures, my YouTube channel started to grow and attract more English learners. And about two and a half years after the show began, another radio producer I knew, Mr. Shibata, made a surprising comment Why don't you quit your show? It's not entertaining enough. What a statement! But I knew him, and I knew he was a competent producer, so I asked him if he could help me. Well, actually, I didn't ask him. I kind of demanded it. If he thought my show was boring, he should know how to fix it. So, Mr. Shibata started giving me advice and also training to improve as a radio personality and at the same time as a content holder. And I did another radio show for a little more than two years. And I learned a lot during that period. And on this show, Gambara Nai Eigo, I kept inviting new guests. I sometimes had international guests. One guest was David Thane. He is a really famous English teacher and author. His books have sold more than 4 million copies, I heard. And we did a bilingual broadcast. 
It means we talk in both English and Japanese. Actually, I wanted to do the entire show in English, but I was kind of afraid I might not keep the conversation going smoothly. So I made it bilingual, not English only, in order to give myself an escape route. And after several bilingual interviews, I started to think, yeah, I can do it in English. Maybe I felt a little more confident. So that's when I started inviting international guests who don't speak Japanese. The first such guest was a high rank Tibetan Buddhist monk, Za Choje Rinpoche. It was just a great honor to have someone like him on my show. I also interviewed Craig j u n j u l a s who is a spiritual teacher based in Sedona. And I talked with Alan Dixon, an adventurer and Instagrammer who made quarkers famous. The quarker is called the happiest animal in the world. They live on Rottnest Island in Western Australia and are classified as vulnerable. I conducted all English interviews four times, and the last guest was Katsura Sunshine. A Rakugo storyteller of Canadian origin. It was so much fun listening to him. Over the past 10 years, I have welcomed well over 100 guests to my show. Looking back, I have come a long way, haven't I? I really want to talk about all the guests, but the time is limited, so I'm gonna focus on just five guests. I will now start the countdown. And announce the top five videos based on their view counts. Okay, here we go. Number five Richard Kawaguchi, the Vancouver pronunciation ogre. Richard is a wonderful teacher. He is entertaining and passionate. And he is now a visiting professor at Sano University in Tokyo. Yeah, he has achieved high status in society, even though he doesn't look like a professor at all. Anyway, I owe him a lot, because he joined and helped me a lot on another radio program. Number 4 Ketch, who was a member of the pantomime duo Gamar Choba, known for his red mohawk then. I first met him when the duo was still together. Now Ketch has left, and Hiropon is performing solo. Anyway, they used to be on the train TV on the Yamanote line. It's a long ago. And that's how I discovered them. One time, on New Year's Day or the day after, I saw them on TV. And watching their performance, I laughed until I cried. It was so ridiculous and hilarious. I once went to their live performance, and after the show, I talked to them and gave them my book. And when Ketch left the duo, I asked for an interview, and he gladly said yes. And I did a long interview and uploaded five videos. And the first one is about his English skills. Ketch has a high TOEIC score, by the way. And the second video explains why he left Gamma Choba. And this one has been viewed more than 30,000 times. According to the comments on the video, it seemed that many people had been unaware of his leaving. Number 3 Naoki Ogawa, who used to be A university professor and is an expert in English pronunciation. Naoki talked about the differences between British and American pronunciation and it became a major hit, viewed over 43,000 times. Personally, I sometimes find it hard to understand British accents, so I learned a lot from what Naoki shared during the interview. By the way, he has perfect British accents. He truly sounds like a Brit. I can't imagine how much effort he put into it. 
Number two. Miho Hashimoto, the famous interpreter. I believe a lot of people are familiar with her because she has been featured in a number of TV shows like A Passionate Challenger, Jonetsu Tairiku, and An Exceptionally Rare Individual, Gekireya-san wo tsurete kita. I respect her, especially for her hard work. She is a returnee, Kikokushijo, but Simultaneous interpretation is no easy task, even for returnees. You gotta study, study, and study. And Miho does just that. She keeps studying and studying. I could never do that. I admire her commitment. And her interpretation skills are extraordinary. Her video got over 72,000 views. And I made some short clips out of it and uploaded them on TikTok. And one of the clips has been viewed over a million times. Just unbelievable. She has so many fans. I admire her, and to my surprise, she admires me too. I'm simply grateful. And Miho sometimes joins me on my radio program. Or YouTube live streams. We even did a live stream on January 2nd, right in the middle of the New Year holidays. And at another time, I wondered how well an AI like ChatGPT can translate Japanese into English. You know, many interpreters and translators have concerns about AI. So, on my YouTube live, I got Miho to have. A translation battle against ChatGPT. The result? ChatGPT was lost. I'm so thankful for Miho's help, and I just can't thank her enough. And the guest of the number one most viewed video is. Kazutada Takeuchi, an expert in petroglyphs. And his video has been viewed over 140,000 times. Wow! If you're not familiar with the word petroglyph, it's letters and shapes carved on rocks. It is a form of ancient rock art. Mr. Takeuchi tells us about the true hidden history of Japan or the world. And it is important for us to know and probably remember. What the ancient Japanese people were like. Thousands of years ago, in the Jomon period, there were many maritime people, Kaiyo Minzoku, in Japan, and the world was peaceful. The insights Mr. Takeuchi shares with us are amazing, and they make me, and probably many others, want to know a lot more about Japan's ancient history. To tell the truth, Mr. Takeuchi has literally changed my life. Now I sometimes join him on exploration trips and sometimes I go alone. I want to discover more evidence of the hidden history. So, how did you like the countdown? I hope you enjoyed my English monologue as the final episode of my radio show, Ganbaranai Eigo Stress Free English Learning. This program is ending, but my quest for truths and my journey to share them with the world still have a long way to go. Thank you so very much for accompanying me on this journey. See you later! Nishizawa Roy no Ganbara Nai Ego. Kono Rajo Kona wa Nishizawa Roy FFC Roy Tomokai no Tekyo de Okuri Shimashita. ロイトモカイの皆さんいつも応援そしてご支援を本当にありがとうございます。